Hey, here we go for a battle report. We have the Scourge, um, where I am trying out a lot of my new units here. This is my little spider bot army that uh, we are going to be testing. And uh, I've got like five Harbringers, five Harbringer dropships in this list. And you can kind of see here what I'm fielding. Uh, these are my troop units. I'm going very light on the troops uh, with uh, two warriors. Um, a little bit of anti-air. Same thing going on here. And over here I've got one exotic squad with uh, one squad of destroyers, some uh, prowlers. And over here are my heavy hitters. Two full, two squads. This is all one squad carried by two dropships. And hopefully I can take, use of, take the uh, advantage of a few cards here um, to make those things move faster. And then we have over here on the PHR side. Now this is 1,500 points, and we've got some new um, some new AA coming in here, some new models that uh, my opponent just got, and those are going to hurt because each one fires six AA shots. Um, that is not cool. Uh, he brought one Athena. He will be the only person with a fast-moving flyer. I'm hoping that my AA will hope we'll take him out of the out of the game a little bit there um, He's uh, he's got the same number of troops that I do uh, Two squads of his standard one squad of sirens So we kind of match up on troops and he's got six um, heavy type twos here uh, This is forms the bulk of his ground force and we will see if I can take that on today I'm not really sure that I can but we will try and he's got some more AA right there and uh, some drones so anyway as we get the board set up here um, I'll be chiming in uh, at the beginning of round one okay we're doing a mission out of the uh, tournament pack um, so that gives us a two hour time limit and we're just gonna play around with these and we're gonna do a secure the flanks mission we just kinda rolled randomly on the new ones which is really interesting because you see that there's two focal points um, here and here um, which only award one extra victory point um, for having the most uh, points in, in uh, units there and then there are three objectives as well uh, for us to uh, grab and get off the board with corner deployments and uh, so we've got the board set up which we will see here there's our board set up and you can see here we have one two three objectives and the green focal points are out in the open and they are on the side on the sides of your of your corner deployment so that'll mean getting to those objectives fast and he's PHR um, <laughs> yeah I'm getting the uh, the, the dirty looks over in the corner um, so anyhow um, I will get back to us once we get uh, through round one and we are about to roll to see who goes first let's go ahead and make that roll so we both rolled twos and since we know but no commanders are on the board yet that means we have to re-roll hey you rolled a six hey. would you like to go first or would you like to go second I'm gonna go first so he's gonna go first that is interesting all right I'll see you at the end of round one all right, round, end of round one. And it looks like over here on the PHR side, we'll start over here. Obviously, he's jumping into this building early and making a mad rush for this second building. Um, he's got his troops moving in here. One of them is Sirens. I'm not sure which one, but I don't think it really matters at this point because they're going to get there. Um, he's got some drones he deposited here and probably some more drones there. Um, obviously his type 2's are heading towards that focal point along with some AA I believe yep. um, and that's what we have here and he's got his um, Athena still in reserve which is hiding way over there okay so now on the uh, scourge side I threw everybody into a building 
Why? Because I just want that objective now. <laughs> I also threw all my um, all my heavy walkers, uh, my little heavy walkers up in front. Those are my anti armor, and that is um, all of that. So it's quite a few guys. Um, in the meantime, I dropped my anti air because I wanted to have them down immediately in case his. Uh, Athena comes in and that way I've got a really good range to knock that sucker down the first time it appears and um, I think that's pretty much it Is that it All right uh, let's see let's go ahead and roll see who goes first here um, we both have level three commanders so I have the option of going first which I will take. All right, I will see you at the bottom of two. Is it six plus? For what? Oh, good. Good. Oh, um, we had an interesting round. Um, my guys obviously discovered the objective here. Um, I did go first and I found that objective, but my destroyers went to the center building because I had an underground monorail that I had drawn um, in my first hand and I knew where my guys were all going. So my guys jumped into the center building first. So I am the occupier and I will be looking for that objective fast. I'm, hopefully I can get that in and out quickly. Um, other than that, we had um, some action. I dropped all my prowlers over here trying to make it an area of denial for all of that mess on that focal point. And I deployed my own mess <laughs> of uh, heavy hitting um, ground walkers there. Um, interesting enough, uh, these two Harbringers, which do have AA guns, were able to knock out a uh, Triton, is that what they're called? A light drop ship and killed one infantry base before he was able to, um, where am I at? Jump into the, jump into the building. Other than that, um, things moved forward and a little bit of protection in the backfield. And the same thing for him, obviously. He jumped into this building with his sirens. Over here, his drones helped him find the objective here, and he jumped off the, off the board edge quickly to get out, to get out and escape. Um, elsewhere, that pretty much calls it the, the, the round, right? Oh, okay, well, there's some, oh, there was some, a couple of two, three prowlers died here after I deployed them out into the middle of the field. He wasn't gonna let that happen. And um, his, uh, what's your de death thing? Athena? Your, his Athena flew in. Um, flew in through here, tried to take out, hit one of my Harbringers. Um, he did hit it uh, three times and did uh, one point of damage. Uh, the Harbringer behind it had not fired, so it actually got to reaction fire. Pop. Harbringers are kind of cool that way. Oh, pop shot. Harbringers, yep. I did miss, but it didn't matter. It was still fun. So a little bit of death, not a whole lot. Things are going to get interesting fast here um, and at, in round, uh, round three. Did I call that right? Score is 2-2. Two, two. And we're, we are keeping track of the time. We have a two-hour time limit on these size of point games, so we have an hour and a half left, approximately. Okay, we had a couple interesting developments, both going in all directions. The biggest, of course, is this objective. Um, this kind of sucked, because I lost a major combat here against the Sirens. Um, I should have probably won, but I did not. So it doesn't matter if you should probably win. Um, and I lost. He did an incredibly good job at rolling sixes. And he took out a whole base of destroyers. And even though I am the occupier of that building, I do not think my destroyers are going to last very long. They are in some serious trouble where they are at. Um, and that's the biggest, hardest development of the round. Um, second of all, he stopped my giant squad down here. Um, which, and killed a couple of them which really hurts because that is my um, primary force. He stopped them in their tracks with a card that I could, could not counter. Um, in the meantime, I did push through here a little bit with my Harbingers, um, which he tried to kill one. One of them's got two damage here. He's done some serious damage to it. He tried to finish it off with his Athena. However, these two guys right here with their 18-inch range, Scourge with ranged, area denial 
were able to pick it off and they did two points of damage to it which was more than they should have but they were able to destroy it before it uh, did any more damage to me so that was um, a nice development plus we had a long range shot from over there way over here um, killed one of my guys that popped out and killed a drone um, I did take out some drones that were in the center here um, my backups did come on this round. I rolled a six for reserve, so they're back into the game, and they probably will be going in to join the battle over there after my destroyers get raked over the coals. Yeah, because they come in, they, they can't do anything that turn. Nope. <laughs> uh, my whole objective here will be to hopefully slow him down. If I can survive one round with my destroyers, I may have a chance to hold this battlefield, but it, this, this, this building, but it does not look good. Um, on the downside, I don't have enough power to really destroy this building, um, but I will try if I get if I come into a bad scenario. Um, over here, these guys all in the backfield wiped out every single prowler. So even if I go first, not a thing I can do about it. And by the way, what are these new guys called over here? Helios. Yeah, those little Helios. Okay, if you see these things. Kill them. They have two damage points. How ridiculous is that? And six shots. Those things are nasty. All right. Not only did they destroy my transports over here, um, but when I did do a damage to them, hey, they had two. They have two total. So not cool. <laughs> not impressed. Um, else, otherwise, we've got retreating um, light dropships <laughs> from my harbingers, which are really kind of dominating the. Um, aircraft battle here although he does still have a lot of anti-air available so we will see where this all goes and um, what happens uh, now that the uh, Athena is out of the battlefield a little bit I feel a little bit more comfortable that doesn't make me feel really good but I feel a lot better since I didn't have any air so I really do like these guys um, a little bit of area denial um, really helps so that's pretty much it for that, and um, let's go ahead and, should we do the die roll on the, on the camera? Did I, did I cover everything? Uh, you covered the Athena, you guys coming back in, the massacre, uh, yeah. Yeah, the massacre, thank you. Um, so obviously, unless there's a card slate, he will have a chance to go first, and we'll see you at, at the uh, beginning of round four. Okay, well, my opponent rolls a lot of sixes, that's all I gotta say. Um, I razor birded a whole base here and killed a whole base of sirens, which was way cool. I figured now I'm going to live, right? Now he rolled a whole crap load of sixes again with just one base this time and wiped out my, uh, my destroyers to a man. Uh, my guys did come in here, so he is now the occupier of the building, and he will start off searching in round five um, on a six plus. So my only hope is that he won't find that objective or that it's luckily I somehow get lucky and kill him. Or draw razor birds again. <laughs> That's my only, my only choice in there. Um, I actually didn't activate a squad. Ah. I'll activate my squad here in a second. The um, anyway, back here we had um, some more good shots. He took down a hard banger. Obviously, my guys are kind of moving in. Um, we're kind of all kind of focused on that focal point where I put my desolator. Um, kind of to face off against these guys. Plus, with these guys back here, we'll see how that works. He's got an awful lot of firepower in that big giant squad there. Other than that, um, we're all kind of racing for uh, focal points. So, we'll see how that goes. That, that's pretty much it, right? Pretty much, yeah. Top of, going into the top of five. Oh, we'll... My, yeah, I'll... All right, a lot going on here. Um, in this battle here, you can see that my warriors, they took, f I didn't write down the four damage. <laughs> <laughs> These guys took four damage from the uh, sirens and managed to kill the sirens. The sirens are gone. So what we've got going in here currently right now, we're going into the top of the six. The, round, the game is two to two because of objectives, objectives taken off. Um, I have this focal point. 
I will probably have that. There's not a whole lot he can do. That focal point. You know what you didn't do? You didn't roll for reserves last round to bring in your troops. Oh, uh, no, I remember. I got the sixth. I just didn't bring them in. Oh. Okay. They're in readiness, I guess, technically. All right. Um, in the meanwhile, my harbingers are kind of flying through here and have made all the drop ships run that way. So I imagine now it's going to be me trying to kill those. Um, we took out a lot of anti-air in this vicinity. He played a card with his Helios, which allowed him to uh, basically use his extended range um, to do a world of hurt on my Desolator. And then he picked up all of his Type 2s and hid them there since my anti-air is way out of range. Um, in retrospect, my anti-air should have been moving forward, but I um, <clears throat> wasn't quite sure how the rest of the battle would go, of course. So right now it's tied. It looks like he's going to get that focal point. I'm going to get this focal point. We already have two points each. This one here, I am now the occupier for the first time, and the odds of the chances of me actually getting a six and recovering that objective are slim. We're looking probably at a draw and as many kill points as we can get to break that to break that draw. Um, it's kind of close when we're looking at the dead casualties over here. I've got some prowlers, both my destroyers, some warrior squads, a whole bunch of walkers, a harbinger, um, a couple drop ships. He has a couple light, a uh, bunch of light drop ships. His Athena, drones, the sirens, of course, um, some an some anti-air walkers, and so I'm not sure who's actually ahead in that. <laughs> it's pretty close, I think. My destroyers are very expensive over there. So is my harbinger. So I'm not sure who's ahead on victory points, but it's going to come down to trying to get every last point. So let's go ahead and make a roll to see who goes who has the option of going first in the very last round of the game. Hey, with a one. Hey, look, I'm going to go first. All right, he's going to go first, and um, we will see how it goes. It's going to be a tight one, down to the last round. All right, here we are at the end of round six for some game results here now. Um, it was, it's a close game. I mean, it's right down to the nail, and obviously I've got this focal point. He's got that focal point. My aircraft does not count. Um, at least I don't think it does. Uh, to give me an extra point in there, so I got nothing there. He got two, two, plus we each extracted one objective. I did not get lucky and get this objective, even though it was a hell of a fight in the center building. A lot of dead. Um, so the score was four to four, uh, which means a draw. And tournament-wise, because since we're using the tournament rules, that means that we score each scored ten points. And then we go to see if we have any bonus points. And the bonus points are based on kill points. In order to get kill points, you have to, um, we need to see how many um, kill points we had. Um, he killed 514. I killed 643. So I can take a moral victory, I guess, but no <laughs> bonus points. And we pretty much do a straight draw right across the board. Um, it was quite the battle. A lot dead. Kill point wise, we killed all very close to the same. And uh, I think the battle was just ridiculously tight all around. It felt like I was killing a lot more stuff, but then all of a sudden, bam, he was killing my stuff. A whole bunch of stuff would die. Came in and, hit and I didn't even come close to getting really any bonus points. I would have had to have gotten rid of that Helios and something else. Yeah. So. A big stuff came in. So yeah. So that was pretty much the game. Um, my Desolator got to do nothing all game, really. <laughs> Except uh, kind of threaten over there. You notice how his stuff is all kind of hiding back there. And I don't really think there was much revealed beyond. You cornered me. I did corner him. Um, and I kept my, I kept my AA back, and that was surprising because usually your AA probably would have done a little. That's because my, uh, my reapers have to ch have to chase you down. Mm -hmm. Normally my skimmers. So, 
I do like my walkers. I really like the Harbingers um, with the AA because they were harassing his light gunships, the, his light um, transports the whole game. There was nothing he could really do to really do, go in there and do a whole lot um, as far as his mobility. I really do like how those work, um, especially in a group of them. And uh, other than that, obviously the Type 2 walkers are devastating. His air has great long range. Um, I really liked the air. These guys were quite awesome at taking down uh, the Athena. Did they go to that? Um, the bat center battle was just a disaster. My razor worms uh, pulled, saved my butt in there, but still, no objective was was discovered. So that was a pointless and futile effort. <laughs> Quite the game, and that's pretty much wrapping it up. Um, One hundred percent a draw. I am going to claim moral victory because he's standing right here, and I can harass him that way because I got so many more kill points than him. <laughs> So um, that's it, and uh, I'll be talking to you later.